Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's another wonderful evening in God's presence. I'm sure we all had a wonderful, wonderful day. And if I told you are tired, you are welcome to God's presence because the Lord is going to renew your strength in his presence tonight in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that is a burden, whatever it is that is a challenge, in tonight's supernatural wealth service, the Lord will meet your needs in the name of Jesus. Without wasting much time, let's just be on our feet to just give God thanks. Let's just appreciate him for his goodness. It is of the Lord mercy that we are not consumed. Let's bless him. His compassion has never failed. Let's appreciate him. Great is his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Appreciate him for his goodness over your life, for his goodness over your family, for his goodness over your parents. Appreciate him for his blessings. Appreciate him for his provision. Appreciate him for the wealth you have received so far. Appreciate him for the word of God you have been receiving. Bless him. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' much less name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, I want you to share the link of this service to your friends and your family members. If you are watching online, we want to welcome you to the service tonight. And we are sure that God is going to visit you even in your place where you are in the name of Jesus. We also want you to pay attention. Don't be, don't be distracted so you can be able to focus and be blessed to receive what God has for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. We ask that in tonight's service, your word will come with power. We shall be empowered supernaturally for wealth in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory, O Lord, for in Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. Amen. The choir, please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and just begin to worship God tonight. Let's lift up our hands, lift up our voices with a heart of gratitude. Just to say thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. You were amazing. You were wonderful. Tell him sweet things. Tell him how, how wonderful he is, how powerful, how excellent. Just go ahead and just worship him. He has done us well. He has been so faithful. Father, we worship you, Jesus. Let him know that you're grateful. Come on, let offer him the fruits of your lips tonight. Father, we bless you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We adore you. We bless your name, O oh God. You are worthy. You are the one who was, who is, and is to come, Lord. Ancient of days, O oh God. You are the one, O oh God, who opened the blind eyes. You are the one who parted the red seal. Lord, we've come to honor you tonight. We've come to bless your name tonight. We've come to worship you, Lord, with all our hearts. With all our totality, Lord, we bless your name. Ashotora nama shata yada maya nama. Imra no kotoma yada ma katari yada ma shata yada ma zuza yada ma shayada maya nama. Father, you do mind blowing things. Sayada woksha. Amazing God. You do mind blowing things. Kalibra no priyada ma shayada. Amazing. I don't know whether you know it, but I think today is the last Tuesday in the month of July. God has done us well as individual, as a family, as a church from January till day. Yesterday we were recounting the outreaches we had in the summer. The three outreaches, how God showed up for us, the souls that were saved, the healing that has taken place. How God has been faithful to us as a church. God has done us well. Amazing things. I want us to just go ahead and just lift up our voice and let him know that you are grateful. Father, you do all mind-blowing things. Oh God, amazing God. You do mind-blowing things. In an unknown shot, amazing. For the testimonies in Jesus' house story. Father, you do mind blowing things. In an unknown cold shot, amazing. Oh, you do mind blowing things. Oh, Lord, amazing. Father, we are grateful, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hey, Oh, Tamana, Shatani, Badon, Zatayana, Badabaha. 
voice and let him hear you. For me. You came through, Lord. You, you came, came through. Father, for me, in my life, in my home, in my family. For
Lord, I've come to worship you. I've come to seek you. Manda shika bamba raba shakada. Ile kaba rabo shakabada gadash. We've come to seek you. We've come to worship you. We've come to worship you tonight. We've come to seek you. We've come to worship you. We've come to seek you. We've come to worship you. Oh, thank you, mighty Father. Marako shakaba baraka gada. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We've come to worship you. We've come to worship you. We've come to worship you. Take all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much, choir. You may have your seat. Shortly, we'll be rising up on our feet for prayers. After I read the first scripture, we'll all be on our feet to pray. I want to read from Isaiah 
chapter 60, verse 18. We'll be praying for the nations. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 18. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin of destruction within your borders. But you will call your world salvation and your gate praise. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. We want to say, Father, Father. I hope you want to pray this evening. So pray like a, a, a soldier. Father, please protect and defend our nations like a wall. Let sounds of violence and destruction be silent in our nations. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Father, protect our nation like a wall. In the name of Jesus, let sounds of war violence be destroyed in our nation. In the name of Jesus, let there be no violence. Let there be no war. There shall be no war. There shall be no violence. In the name of Jesus, in UK, in Europe, in America, in Australia, in Asia, in Africa, to the entire nations of the world, there shall be no war. There shall be no violence. In the name of Jesus, Mazuka Baba Shaka Baba Ragade, defend our nation like a wall. In the name of Jesus, Mazuka Baraba Kaba Dagada, Mashata Ambra Kabade, Zebelegade, Isi Bakaba Rakade, Mazute Emba Likaba Shaba, Eziba Rakade, Mazute Emba Kamba Shabada, Zelegade, Isi Kobo Shegade. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you for praying violently. We want to be praying for evangelism and for soul winning outreaches. I want to read from the book of John, chapter 1, verse 5. It said, The light shines in darkness, and darkness has not overcome it. Hallelujah. And darkness has not been able to overcome light, and the light shines in darkness. Every form of darkness, by the light of God's word and by this prayer, we disappear completely in the name of Jesus. We want to say, Father, Father, please continue to shine your light. Please continue to shine your light on the heart of all new believers from the outreaches. Let every work of darkness in their lives be swallowed up completely, leading to their full establishment in the kingdom. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. That your light will continually shine in the name of Jesus. That your light will continually shine. Your light will continually shine upon all the new believers. It shall be established in the kingdom. None of them will be found missing in the name of Jesus. They shall be established, rooted, and grounded in Christ in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We want to be praying for the word and the participant, that is you and I. So you pray violently because you want God to visit you tonight. Hallelujah. Your supernatural wealth blessing will not elude you in the name of Jesus. So pray like you mean business with God. I want to read from 2 Chronicles chapter 3, verses 13 to 14. It said, the trumpeter and the musician... Join in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord, accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments. The singers raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good, His love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the clouds, and the priests could not perform their services because the cloud 
because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. That is how the glory of God will fill this temple tonight in the name of Jesus. We want to say, Father, Father, we commit this service into your hands. We ask for your tangible presence and manifest glory. Change the lives and destinies and let no one remain the same. After this service, in Jesus' name, begin to pray. Change the lives of every participant. Let no one remain the same. Change lives, change destinies. In the name of Jesus, an encounter with your word, your presence. Your manifest glory shall tabernacle here in the name of Jesus. Every life should be transformed. Every life should be transformed. Every life should be blessed in the name of Jesus. An encounter with your word. An encounter with your word. A genuine encounter with your word that will transform our lives and destiny. Blessed be your name, O Lord. They call the praise Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Be thou exalted, O Lord, for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen you may have your seat god bless you hallelujah welcome once again to the house of the lord hallelujah i know that we are grateful people in the house and next in today's service is offering time and if you've got your tights please um get them ready we're going to pray over them and we're going to go ahead to pray for the offerings after that. So please, this is the time to redeem your vows as well. Any seeds, you have any um, seeds you have to sow into the kingdom assignments and your offerings, just package them nicely. The envelopes are behind your seats and um, label them accordingly. And we know that the God of heaven that sees in secret will visit you mightily with great returns in Jesus' name. Amen. Are there any titles in the house, please? For we'll proceed, Titus in the house. Please move on our feet, yeah? Titus in the house, you can be on your feet, please. God bless you. The Bible says, if you are winning and obedience, you will eat the good of the land. And you are obeying his word that we should bring all the tithes into his house tonight. So, Father, Lord, we give you praise. We appreciate you, Lord Jesus, oh God, for the Titus in the house tonight, both online and on ground. Lord Jesus, oh God, we give you glory for the grace even to obey. Father, we pray that you accept this title, oh God. And return unto, oh God, these ones with a blessing. He said, oh God, that you give a blessing that there will not be room enough to contain. Confirm this word in the life of every obedient child of God. Even as we give our tithes tonight. Thank you because we know it is done. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. And then it's time to take our offerings, please. If we're ready with our offerings, um, the account details will be um, shown on the screen shortly for us to give. And let us pray for the offerings. If we're ready, can we just lift our offerings up? Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We appreciate you once again for the provisions you've given unto us. We give you all the glory because we know you are our source. And, O oh Lord, as we give both online, those giving online and those um, giving um, with our envelopes on ground, Lord, we pray that you visit everyone accordingly. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray as we give tonight, O oh God, that you accept these seeds, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, and oh Lord, we pray that you help, oh God, the hearts of people to be joyful even as they give in obedience to your word. Be thou exalted, oh God. You say you love a cheerful giver. Let everyone give cheerfully tonight so no one will miss out on your wealth agenda for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please cast your seed joyfully according to the word of God. And while we do that, please, we will be on our feet as we speak to the Lord. Speak, express yourself to the Lord. What's your expectation for tonight's service? Cast your seat joyfully. Speak to the Lord. Tell him what you want him to do for you tonight. The Lord is here. Are you ready to receive? Speak to the Lord. I know that the Lord will give, do you good tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and speak to the Lord. Go ahead and bless his name. Go ahead and worship him. For the privilege to be in his house again tonight magnify the name of the lord exalt his holy name father we are grateful father we are grateful father we are grateful 
We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you worship. We give you adoration. Thank you, almighty God. We worship you. We give you praise. No one like you. You are higher lifted up. You are higher lifted up. There is no one like you. Ay, 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 ale, 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 Lifted up, there is no one like you. We give you glory. Ale, 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 Gede ala vale ma shuda galando ra ya de ale 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 lu ma ya gada vara galando ro lo bo shende ya you are ya you are ya lifted up you are ya lifted up you are ya lifted up ale 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 you jehovah you are the most high we worship you jehovah you are Mashana Galabandelea, Jehovah. We honor you, Jehovah. You are. You are. We reference you, Lord. Mada Galabashine. We give you glory. We adore you, Lord. We enthrone you, Lord, you are the most God. Hallelujah, you are the most God. Jehovah, you are the most God. Jehovah, you are the most God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Accept our thanks and praise. We are grateful for the year 2022 and how far you have brought us. Today is the last Tuesday in the seventh month of this year. And we have come above everything to say, Lord, we are grateful. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you because your word is not scarce in our midst. You always send us your word. You feed us with manna from above. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the peace, the rest, the joy, the serenity that we enjoy. We are not running from pillar to post. Lord, you have given us rest on every side. To you be all the glory. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, tonight our eyes are on you. Visit us and do what only you can do. And we vow to give you all the glory. In Jesus' most awesome name. We have prayed. If you are excited to be in the house of the Lord, I want you to say better amen.
For the joy of seeing the last Tuesday in 20, the seventh month of 2022, I want us to please celebrate the Lord as we put our hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah. And have our seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen and amen. You're all welcome into the house of the Lord. God bless you for coming. And I pray that the Lord God of heaven and earth, we reach out to us in the mighty name of Jesus. We serve a God of times and season. I want someone to echo it and say, we serve a God of times and season. It is very important that we understand this statement about our God. It's a very, very important point that I have just made. We serve a God of times and season. If it is winter, it is winter. That is the time. That is the season. If you do what you ought to do in that time and season, you get what that season and the time carries. And then it changes and is gone, is gone. I'm saying this to say to you that in the mind of God, he ordained this month for our wealth. He ordained this month for our wealth. And as many that will position themselves as though this season of wealth must not pass me by. They will have a testimony. The Bible says in Hebrews, I think that should be 1 verse 3. He said, you uphold all things by the word of his power. Thank God for those that are sentimental. You know, some people know how to be sentimental. I think they, are, they can co-opt God. They can corner him. They can... But the word of God is what God has respect on. The word of God. When you stand upon the word of God, you are standing on something that cannot shake, that cannot fail that cannot fall. Praise God forevermore. In case you are still trying to... Madam, as you are coming, sit at the back, please. God bless you. Just sit beside that bishop. And bishop, see to it that she sit down there until after this service. Hallelujah. When you understand the times and the season, you won't have to go around in circle chasing one thing. I was sharing why we were praying as inspired by the Holy Spirit that the reason why that man in John chapter 5 spent 38 years on the same spot is because he kept missing his time and his season, he kept missing it. In case you don't understand what I've said thus far, this is what I've been saying. The cutting of the month of manifest glory wealth as it pertains to the agenda of God for this church has some days more. For that cutting to be drawn. The point is, have you laid hold on yours? God won't gather us for a whole one month. Talk about a subject just for the sake of announcement. No. No. And as inspired in that room, I said to them, I said the bag that God is dropping this month is the bag of wealth. The question is, have you picked yours? So, blessed are your ears for hearing what you have heard. 
you can press your way into it. Lord, I'm not missing it in this season. I'm not missing it because you have what you have promised from your word to give to me. Amen and amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 and 16. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 and 16. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. And the man who gains understanding. Can we read that scripture together? I want to go. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. And the man who gains understanding. Verse 16. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. If you, if, you, if you happen to read that scripture, and if media can switch between 13 and 16, you will notice that where wisdom shows up, wealth will show up. Wherever you find wisdom, you must find wealth. Say it another way. The truly wise will always be wealthy, especially wisdom in God. And that is the reason why supernatural wealth is connected to supernatural wisdom. I think you should echo that to yourself. Supernatural wealth is connected to supernatural wisdom. If you are supernaturally wise, it's a matter of time. Even the devil cannot stop your wealth. Praise God forevermore. He said, when you show up at your left hand, they will see it, wealth and riches. Now, I've said that to make a point, building on what I said earlier, cry to God. The wisdom that make wealthy, release it on me before the end of this month. What did I just say? Let, let me clarify. You know, when some people, when they, are, when they finish talking, you will do like this for them. That, that's the wisdom for heavy grammar. If you check their wealth bank, nothing is there. Because the wealth, the, the wisdom they have is to make people to open their mouth. Oh, this person can talk. So there is the wisdom that makes for wealth. If you picture wisdom and you see the branches of wisdom, for some people, it's for them to mesmerize people. You see what I'm saying? For another, but in those branches, there's one that you will see it branch, and what is on top of it is capital, riches, wealth, abundance, overflowing resources. Praise God forevermore. Because if all wisdom makes rich, and then bag of money should be in the back, backyard of all universities. Did we get what I've just said? You will lay hold on the supernatural wisdom for supernatural wealth before the end of this month in the name of Jesus. And the access to this is by direct wisdom from God bestowed on you. According to James chapter 1 verse 5, it's like God just open you up and drop inside you his wisdom. Say, so if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And God will download it to you. Before the end of this month, God will download the wisdom for wealth to you. 
And then the second one is the word wisdom. Direct wisdom. And then the wisdom from the word of God. Word wisdom. People of God, I submit to you, loaded in the word of God is the wealth, is the wealth that the world had not seen. In the word of God. People are drawing wealth from this Bible that we all carry. But it takes the wisdom of God to be able to access it. Praise God forevermore. The word of God is beyond religious knowledge, Bible knowledge. No. You are, you are not supposed to have this world. And you lack access to the treasures of God. No. Everything that God is worth is in the word of God. The wealth of God. The wealth of God. When you carry your Bible... See, it is our mentality that begat our realities. Do I need to say that again? When you carry your Bible, see yourself carrying the wealth that the world has not known. Hallelujah. I pray that the word of God will turn your fortune around in the name of Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 will be the reference for the word wisdom. Somebody say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word turn my fortune around for good. In the name of Jesus. One word, I think we saw that on Sunday. As we we're about to partake of the anointing. One word from the mouth of Elisha to a woman that was down to nothing turned her fortune around. She had always had the point of her, which was the secret of her wealth. But she needed the word to turn her eyes to it. God's word will turn your eyes to your fortune. Only two people said amen. God's word will turn your eyes to your fortune in the name of Jesus. God's word. God's word. Peter was struggling. Luke chapter 5, the word came. I said, what you are looking for is at that side. Somebody say that side. God's word. God's word. You want to draw wealth from the word of God. Let God talk to you from his word. It's the highest realm of wisdom. Praise God forevermore. The Lord King of glory. We make it so for us in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 to 4. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3 to 4. Say so true wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established by knowledge. You see the progression wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Somebody say wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. And by knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, the secret to wealth. Don't look at a wealthy man, especially in the kingdom, and he is and say, we don't know what they are using. There is something that a wealthy man in the kingdom knows that the other man doesn't know. Find out. 
Find out. Find out. Praise God forevermore. We're talking about supernatural wealth. And we are saying that it answers to supernatural wisdom. It answers to supernatural understanding. It answers to supernatural knowledge. Praise God forevermore. Joseph modeled that for us. Genesis chapter 41, verse 38 to 43. Genesis chapter 41, 38 to 43. And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one? This will be said of you. As this, a man in whom the Spirit of God is. Now, before we go, that Spirit of God is the Spirit of wisdom. Keep going. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, so the wisdom of God will show you what others may not be able to see. There is no one as discerning and wise. I think that just nailed it now. That we are talking about wisdom. So everything we've been reading from verse 38 summarized. Pharaoh was acknowledging the wisdom of God in the life of Joseph. Because the spirit of God lives on his inside. I want someone to be angry. There is no lesser spirit. Let me lay that foundation. But the spirit at work in Joseph was before the Holy Spirit came. You are living in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. You can complete that statement. Let's see what that wisdom did to this man. You shall be over my house. Somebody say wealth. And all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Somebody say wealth. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Somebody say wealth. And Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand. Somebody say wealth. When you see a genuine king, you not know, uh, the signet, what is in their hand. As a matter of fact, and I believe some of you, you are aware of this already. People that are truly wealthy, one of the ways they store their wealth Because the man is moving, he's moving with his money. You can only assess that wealth if you can, you know, take his life. That's, that's the way they think. It's not too safe in the house. It's not too safe in the, in, the, in the bank. But it is safe with me. It's like one man that I've told you of before. The man so wealthy and so stingy. He looks like you know what I'm about to say. He will give his money to nobody, including his children. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, one day your time will be up on this earth. Do you agree? And so this man passed away. And he has this place where he stores us his money that the children, they've been eyeing. They started looking for the key to this vault. They can't find it. You know what that man did? That man was a rascal. He saw that the door of death was knocking. Guess what he did? How did you know? Okay, I've told you before. For those that are wondering what they said, the man swallowed the key. Not that he swallowed it inside. He put the key in his mouth. So the children knowing the kind of person. <laughs> it looks like you have an uncle like that. <laughs> the, children, the children knowing the kind of person. 
They just suspected, they opened the mouth and they saw the key and <laughs> I think I'm the one that added that one. <laughs> and took the key and uh, enjoyed the money. Praise God forevermore. Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand by the wisdom of God. You see, when the Bible says that the wealth of the Gentiles is laid up for the righteous, one of the ways we would take it forcefully is by the wisdom that we would display. What Pharaoh had been storing up, he did not know when he removed it and gave it to Joseph. By the force, by the force, by the force, by the force of wisdom. I don't know if you notice that there's an emphasis on this teaching tonight. You can't lay hold on divine wisdom and be poor. That's the summary of what we are hearing. It is not possible. It is not possible. So the remaining five or so days of this month, Lord, if there's anyone you want to endow with divine wisdom, because there are things and there are few things that make things happen. You don't need to chase for wealth when you lay hold on divine wisdom. Let's not go about it the hard way. The hard way is we are trying to make wealth. The easy way is that you are a carrier of what mag magnetizes wealth. Which one do you choose? Where wisdom is found, wealth is in abundance. Solomon. Solomon. Solomon was selling nothing but wisdom. What's wisdom? Wisdom. Somebody lift your hands. Speak to the Lord. Endow me with the wisdom for wealth. You don't need to pray it out. I love the way that we are not loud about it. Let it come to him from your inside to his ears, from your inner being. Lord, this dimension of wisdom, I need it. What I'm hearing tonight, I need this dimension of wisdom. Oh, God of heaven and earth. Whosoever lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. I need this dimension of wisdom. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. Psalm 104, verse 24, before we move on to the next segment. We believe God that he will help us. Psalm 104, verse 24. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. If you check in James, he said, the earth is full of your riches. In wisdom, in wisdom, in wisdom. The wealth, what this scripture is saying is the wealth of the world is loaded in the wisdom of God. The wealth of the world is inside the wisdom of God. Say it another way, when you take the wisdom of God out, as it pertains to wealth, there's nothing that is left. I have not said it very well. What makes God the most wealthy is the wisdom of God. So if you are going to function in that capacity, you must believe him to usher you into the same dimension of wisdom. That's it. That's it. If there's anything anyone does now to think you have cornered God, when God shows up, 
in an, another dimension of wisdom, it will look like it's just starting. What is this? That's why I call it manifold. The word manifold means many-sided. 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 Lord, connects me to your manifold wisdom. I think it's a prayer point. Did, did we get the point? Many-sided. From the north, your wisdom, people cannot, you know, the wisdom is there. From the south, the wisdom is there. From the east, so whichever ways, whichever way you are standing, praise God forevermore. The manifold wisdom of God is released to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Avenues for wisdom for wealth. What are the avenues available to us? When we talk about wisdom for wealth. Number one avenue available to us is access to divine light from the word of God. Access, access to divine light from the word of God. You want to be super wealthy, love the word of God. And go there for the light that brings wealth. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, and then 6 to 7. Isaiah 60, verse 1, and then 6 to 7. Arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So you, saw, you see there that it is light that is being spoken about. But see the product of the light from that verse 6. The multitude of camels shall cover your land. You see where it's there? The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold. So if you did not agree with me, all the Sheba and all those things, don't agree. They shall bring gold. I think till today, the highest measure of wealth has it changed? What was the highest measure? Who can tell us so that I will be current? It's Bitcoin now. That, that thing that is beating everybody down. <laughs> that thing is not secure. <laughs> Praise God forevermore. Is it the Bitcoin that we can't see what we are talking about? When, when gold is gold, gold is gold. They, they say in karat. When they put 22 karat on the scale, it weighs more than 18 karat. God will push gold in your direction. God will push gold in your direction. Just desire what we are talking about. See, when you see some people walk about, we normally wear, in fact, when you are wealthy, you can begin to wear your wristwatch in your right hand. You see some people walk about and you see their wristwatch and you just commonize it. You just like it. That's why I say some people, they are mobile wealth. The signet, we are talking about $1 trillion. And then the wristwatch, we are talking about, someone give me a figure. Am I becoming Kana now? <laughs> they shall bring gold and incense. Is it, the reason they will move about with it is that when they collide with you, I'm hearing from the spirit. They won't say, I want to go and bring it. That was what God did. Pharaoh just removed it and gave it. I'm sure he go home and said, what did I do? Everything that I labored for, how? what is it that came over me? Something will come upon your helpers of destiny. You just believe God to flow in divine wisdom and see what God will do. We just say, I want to bless you. And he's blessing you with what he has put in the will for his children's children. But God moved him. You know, you don't have to be related to somebody 
before God will use him or her to change your story. I believe God, as you are hearing this word, your helpers of destiny, they are looking for you in a hurry in the name of Jesus. Access to divine light from the word of God. Number one avenue for wealth, wisdom. Number two, divine access. Sorry, access to divine secrets. Access to divine secrets. Hmm. God will give you wealth secrets. God will give you wealth secrets. There's wealth secrets. Hallelujah. Job chapter 29, 2 to 6. Job chapter 29. How many agree with me that Job was a super wealthy man? In this scripture, he unveiled one of his wealth secrets. Oh, that I wear as in months past, as in the days when God watched over me. Keep going. When his lamp, the word lamp is the word. We've just covered that. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. When his lamp shone upon my head and went by his light, I walked through darkness, but that's not all. Just as I was in the days of my prime, when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent. If you check that King James Version of verse 4, it said, when the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle. The secrets of God. God will come in the cool of the day and whisper secrets to the ears of Job. Job will plot 2 plus 2. It's supposed to be what? But it is four million for Job because of secrets. Job was doing business. Others were doing business, the same business, but they could not match Job because Job was not really trading what Job was selling. Job was trading secrets. 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 In fact, I didn't say that very well. Job was trading divine secrets. Divine secrets. Thank you, media. The secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Somebody lift your hand and say, Father, connect me to divine secrets for wealth. I hope I said that very clearly. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please connect me before the end of this month to divine secrets for wealth. We can't be struggling when we have our heavenly father. According to Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29, the secrets of the law belongs to his children. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. And but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. The secret things belong. Somebody get ready. As you sleep tonight, God will come to you with secrets. In your sleep tonight, God will come to you with secrets for wealth in the name of Jesus. Do you know one is enough? One. One secret is enough to open your treasures permanently. Praise God forevermore. What is the number three avenue for wisdom, for wealth? 
access to solve the problems of life. Access. God grants you access to solve the problems of life. I think you don't need to preach that one. Do you know everyone's wealth is a measure of the problem of life they can solve? Praise God. The man at the reception, I'm not downplaying any job. It's just an example. He's solving a problem. Do you agree with me? You picture any organization. You know when you arrive there, someone is at the reception. He's the gatekeeper. He's solving a major problem. Because if something goes wrong at that place, something can go wrong in the whole organization. So their job is very important. But the person is solving a problem. The MD of the organization also is solving a problem. Am I correct? But we're solving a bigger problem. So why should you blame the salary of the MD? The wealth of the MD? You get the point? When you want to shift level, ask God to give you a greater problem to solve. Mm. Say it another way. When God wants to promote you and shift you, he enables you to solve mega problems. Mega problems. Like the one that Daniel solved in Daniel chapter 6 or Daniel chapter 5, 11 to 16. Time may not permit us to read it. Daniel chapter 5, 11 to 16. That king saw a hand on the wall. That wrote Latin. Mene, mene, take care. Ah. And all the magicians could not decode it. They had to bring Daniel in a hurry. God will give you a mega problem to solve. God will give you as a gift in this month of wealth, wisdom to solve mega challenges of men in the name of Jesus. Now, it's becoming bigger in my spirit. Some people solve the problem of one man. Some people solve the problem of a generation. Generation. The problem of a generation. Even when you are long gone, your children's children will be praying for you. Thank God for my great grand granny. May his soul rest in perfect faith. You see, when they pray that prayer for different people, it means different things. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Because you solve the problem, they are still reaping from the blessing. Thank you, Jesus. You are the next. The God that helped Daniel will send you help tonight. Number four avenue to wealth, wisdom for wealth is access to the voice of God. Inside the voice of God is the wealth that the world has not known. The voice of God. Genesis chapter 26. Again for time, all the way from 1 to 14. Did I give us reference for point number 3? Daniel chapter 5, 11 to 16. Point number 4, Genesis 26, 1 to 14. Genesis 26. 1 to 14. One voice that came to Isaac brought in fortune. Because by the time you get to verse 12, Bible said by that voice, Isaac sowed in the land, reaped in the same year a hundredfold. Because the Lord had blessed him. Keep going. 
and the man began to prosper. Continue prospering until he became very prosperous. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. He became the envy of a whole nation by the wisdom behind the voice of God. Sir, it is wisdom to know how to access the voice of God and to have access to the voice of God. It is wisdom. It is wisdom. I heard that it was somebody that was supposed to touch the business of ensuring that big ship called Titanic. But he went to God in prayer. God said, don't touch it. And another person picked it up. What a great business. And ensured it. As Titanic was going down, the business went down with it. Because you have to pay. You have to pay the easy premium, they call it. Well, you can check it out. The man that they first approached, God said, don't touch it. Everything was right. But God's voice said it was wrong. God's voice. Do everything possible if you want to be wealthy. To know how to assess the voice of God. People will think that you are using something. It is the voice of God you are using. It's a voice of God that you are using. The man said he had a major chunk of his livelihood in those days, specifically so that you know that this is not made up in Nigeria, in the stock market. And God's voice said, offload everything now. He offloaded it today. The stock market crashed the next day. The voice of God. The very day he was selling, some people were buying. So they bought it today. They sank tomorrow. The voice of God. The voice of God. The voice of God. If you are interested in supernatural wealth, you must be interested in access to the voice of God. I'm going to give us five minutes to speak to God. Whatever it is that come to you tonight, it looks like some, something is unusual about tonight's word and communion service. If you want to kneel down, if you want to stand up, if you want to sit down, your position or posture does not really matter, but just make sure you speak to God. Just make sure you cry unto him. Lord, tonight, I've heard from the beginning of this month on this subject of wealth. I know you did not come to just mention it or announce it to me. It is what you have in stock for me. Oh, Lord, King of glory, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. You have sent your word. My heart is open. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. To be a testimonial of the word of wealth. That it is real. That it is true. That it is sure. That the kingdom has it to offer. Oh, yes. Joseph proved it. Daniel proved it. Solomon proved it. Lord, King of glory, line me up. Line me up. Line me up as one of those that you will raise in this generation to prove that the kingdom wealth is true. That supernatural wealth is true. Holy Ghost. Mashagada baragalaba dagali anda galaba dagalaba. 
Ikete katu presetele inde kete ya katamba asoto prekete liga ashakatu beregende le kete dianda izegende le katara balustele anda galaba akatambro setele gedi anda la bashi anda la bada bada ayaya dega 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 anda galaba Lord don't let me cross. Passing through this month, the same way I came in, let something change for me. Let something change for me. Let something change for me. Supernaturally. Let the month of July leave a, deli a, a, a strong mark. In the Libu mark. Oh, King of glory, let the month of July leave something great. Confirm your word in my life. Confirm your word in my life. Confirm your word in my life. As the people of God are praying, we want to give opportunity to anyone and everyone that needs salvation. The wealth of the kingdom is for the people of God. Go ahead. Make your way right with the Lord and see how the wealthy God will turn your story around. So if you are that person tonight, I want you to speak to the Lord. Ask him to forgive you your sins. Ask him... To wash you with the blood of his son Jesus. And receive the grace to live for him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. We honor you, we adore you. How many are ready for this communion of wealth tonight? In honor of Jesus. Let's rise on our feet. And we'll stretch our hand before the ministers we administer the communion. Isaiah 55, verse 11, so shall my word be that proceeded from my mouth, the word of wealth. It shall not return to me void. It shall not return. It shall not return. Lord, through this communion, let your wealth agenda be transferred to me. Don't let your word of wealth, supernatural wealth, return. Don't let it return. I'm laying hold on my portion tonight. As I partake of this communion, let something enter into me. Lord, sir, let something step into me. Let something be transferred to me. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Ministers, please help us as we are praying over the communion. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Oh, there's what you eat and your story changes. Let tonight be that night, oh God. When they ate it in Egypt, the treasure of Egyptian became accessible to them. As you partake of this communion tonight, believe that heaven's treasure become accessible to you. For my God shall supply all your needs. This table, someone's death will be canceled. This table, someone will experience uncommon favor that will bring you into a wealthy place. Father, we thank you. We ask, Lord, that you breathe upon this table. Let the bread become your flesh and your body. Let the drink become the blood of Jesus. Lord, by the authority of your word, we declare that this meal 
is now the meal for supernatural wealth. Everyone that will partake of it, let them have a testimony to show. This meal is sanctified in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Somebody say louder, amen. amen. Declare this is my meal of wealth. As I partake of it tonight, I step into my wealthy place in the name of Jesus. Please let's have our seat as we partake of it rejoicing and with confidence that the Lord has answered us. Hallelujah. Sunday, by the grace of God, the very last day of the month of July, we believe in God that the mantle of wealth be resting upon the work of our hands. So please, let's come with point of contact. It's our impartation service where God will be touching what you do. And God cannot lay his hand on something and that thing will remain small. No. 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 God's hand can, cannot be on something and that thing will be in the corner. No. Now, I'm sharing with you the expectation that you should have before you come on Sunday. Let God's hand rest on it. No devil can stop it from rising. Praise God forevermore. So with that confidence, please let's come with um, materials that represent what we do. And I believe this is clear to us in this house by now. If you are in academics, come with something that represents your studies. If you are in a business, come with something that represents your business. If you are in ministry, come with something that represents your ministry. What else can we be that I have not mentioned? So what will a pastor bring? So that I want you to be sure that you understand. That's exactly what a pastor should bring. A pastor should not bring... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when they say lift up the point of contact and a pastor raises a scissors you are going to say what is going on there so do we get it I just want us to get it hallelujah even though I know that we understand praise God forevermore the Lord King of glory will impart us and impart the work of our hands in the name of Jesus. Let's take the remaining days of this month to pray like never before on everything that the Lord has you know, shown us this month and testimonies shall abound in our lives in the name of Jesus. Please let's be our brother's keeper. Let's not assume. Let's check on ourselves and let's make sure that um, somebody is fine and that they hear from you on behalf of the church. And the Lord King of glory will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. Praise God forevermore. How many are blessed for coming tonight? How many believe that nothing can stop you from being wealthy? Nothing can stop you from walking upon your high places. Please rise on your feet and speak to the Lord in thanksgiving. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because your plan for me, they are for good. Your plan for me, oh, colorful, very bright, wonderful, glorious. How many can see bright tomorrow? Oh, yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can see a colorful destiny can see a wonderful, glorious tomorrow. Yes, Lord, it's too late for the enemy because we have crossed over. 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 
We have crossed over. We have crossed over. Maragalabashi adagalabaragalaba. Zege de geli adabaragalabashi and agalabaragalaba. Do something prophetic. Mention your name to yourself and say, Dakolari Waju, the word that you have heard this month will work for you. This word will work in your life. This word will produce for you. This word will answer for you. You have testimony from this word. Oh, it is too late for you to be small. It is too late. You will learn to nation. You will learn to nation. You will clothe the naked. You will clothe the naked. Take this session very serious. The angels are here. You will feed the poor in thousands, in millions. You will feed the poor. Oh, your wealth will bring glory to God. That's you talking to yourself. God will be honored by his wealth in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We honor you, Lord. We adore you. Everything you have said to him will become your reality. You will testify of them. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. This message has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout the United Kingdom and the world. If you would like to support us, kindly visit our website on www.jesushousetory.org. God bless you.